till now we have learned how to convert decimal number system to any base that has radix r system or any base system to decimal number system now this table shows the basic comparison of numbering system we can see we have decimal number in the first column binary number in the second column octal number in the third column hexadecimal number in the fourth column zero binary zero 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 octal zero and hexadecimal zero one decimal number that is that has uh, binary zero 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 one in octal it's one in hexadecimal it's one for two as in binary we have only two symbols zero and one to represent two we must use this one zero to represent the next number that is zero zero one zero but two is the unique symbol for octal and two is the unique symbol for hexadecimal in this way if we proceed we'll get the corresponding binary number and octal number and hexadecimal number we can see after seven we have seven seven and seven after seven for octal number case the next number will be one zero because we have only eight symbol for octal case so the next number is one zero which has the corresponding value eight in decimal and eight in hexadecimal and one triple zero is the binary corresponding value in this way if we proceed after nine the next number for decimal is one zero that is ten because we have only 10 symbol in decimal but after 9 we write a in hexadecimal still it's a unique number in this way if we proceed we'll get the corresponding number up to 20 decimal this is the binary equivalent of 20 decimal this is the octal equivalent of 20 decimal this is the hexadecimal equivalent of 20 decimal now what if you are asked to convert an octal number to hexadecimal number or a hexadecimal number to octal number what will be the procedure from our previous knowledge we know we can convert this octal number to decimal this procedure is known to us this was described in the previous lecture again from decimal number we can convert the number to hexadecimal number so this can be one of the procedures or if you are given a hexadecimal number to convert it to octal number what you can do you can convert this hexadecimal number to decimal number then decimal number to octal number we know how to convert from octal number to decimal and we know how to convert from decimal to hexadecimal in this way we can convert octal number to hexadecimal number or hexadecimal number to octal number but this process is tedious there is an easier method which I am going to show you now first of all let's see how to convert octal number to hexadecimal number we know octal number this number has base equal to 8 that means this is 8 base system now this 8 is the third power of the base of binary number system binary number system has base 2 and this is the third power base of binary number system which will return us 8 now for octal number system all we have to remember is the 3 bit binary equivalents of the basic digits of the octal number system what are the basic digits of octal number system 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so if we write 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are the octal number octal number so these octal numbers are to be represented by 3 bit binary equivalent so 3 bit binary equivalent If we write in this format, 0 can be written as 0, 0, 0, 3 bit binary equivalent. 1, 
zero zero one two zero one zero three zero one one four one zero zero five one zero one six one one zero seven one 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 so these are the three bit binary equivalent of these octal numbers here a binary number can be converted into an equivalent octal number by splitting the integer and fractional parts into groups of three bits starting from the binary point on both sides the zeros can be added to complete the outside groups if needed let me show you an example then the things will be more clear to all of you suppose we want to find the binary equivalent of this octal number 374.26 equal to what is the binary equivalent we know the conventional method we can convert this octal to decimal decimal to binary but here we'll see how can we convert it directly to binary each digit of this number are to be converted three bit binary equivalent numbers suppose for four what is the three bit binary equivalent of four that is one zero zero so here we'll write one zero zero for seven the binary equivalent is 111 111 and for 3 the binary equivalent number is 011 011 here we will have point then for 2 the binary equivalent is 010 and for 6 it's 110 and this is the binary equivalent number of this octal number let us see the opposite example suppose we want to convert this binary number to up to 1111000.0100111 this is a binary number what is the octal number of this binary number for this case we need to segmentize segmentize each three bits First of all, uh, we'll go for the integer part. We'll go from right to left. For fractional part, we'll go from left to right. So this is one segment containing three bits. We can have another segment containing this three bit. And we can have another segment containing this two bit. So in order to complete the number of bits to three, we can add zero that was said earlier that we may place if it is necessary so this is the extra zero for the fractional part we can take this three in one segment this three in another segment and we have remaining one so what we can do we can add extra two more zeros in order to complete three bits and we know adding extra zeros at the beginning of any integer number and adding extra zeros at the end of any fractional number don't change the value now the octal equivalent of this three bit number is four we can see one zero zero is the equivalent value of four again octal value of next three bit number that is the second segment this is the second segment one one zero the corresponding octal value is six Finally, the corresponding octal value, oh, I need to put another zero here. We have three bit number. So the corresponding octal value of this three bit binary number is one. Now let's keep writing the corresponding octal value for each three bit segment. Zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero. The corresponding value is two. Zero, one, one. The corresponding value is three. And one, zero, zero. The corresponding value is 4 so the octal equivalent of this binary number is 164.234 now similarly for hexadecimal system that has base equal to 16 the base of hexadecimal number is 16 and it is the fourth power of the base of the binary number system. The binary number system has base 2 and the fourth power of binary number base system is 2 to the power 4 which returns us 16.
like the previous one, a given binary number can be converted into an equivalent hexadecimal number by splitting the integer and fractional parts into groups of four bits starting from the binary point on both sides. Again, the zeros can be added to complete the outside groups if needed. Let's see an example to clarify our idea. Suppose we want to convert 17E point F6 which is in hexadecimal system to binary system. What is the equivalent value in binary? So what we need to do? We need to write the corresponding 4-bit binary number for each digit. We have E71. We can see from this chart, 0 has the corresponding 4-bit binary number is 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0. 1 has 0, 0, 0, 0001, up to F it's 1111. For E, the corresponding binary number is 3110. So we write 3110 here. For 7, the corresponding binary number, 4-bit binary number is 0, triple one and for one the four bit binary number is triple zero one we can ignore these three zeros again for the fractional part the corresponding four bit binary number is one 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 and the corresponding four bit binary number for six is zero one one zero so this is the binary equivalent of this hexadecimal number. I think the conversion has become very easy for these cases. Let's see the opposite example. Suppose we want to find out the hex equivalent value for this binary number 10 one zero now in order to convert this from binary to hex this is binary let's take different segments containing four bits in each segment one two three four we have four this is first segment one two three four this is the second segment and one two if we want to make it four take two more zeros and this is the third segment Again, for the fractional part, this is the first segment, this is the second segment, and if you want to make 4 from this one, so add 3 more zeros, and this is the third segment. Now let's start putting the corresponding hexadecimal values for 1110, This is triple one zero. the corresponding value is E. So this is E. For 1100, the corresponding value is C. For 0010, that has the corresponding value of 2. So these are the values for the integer part. Now let's see for the fractional part. Corresponding hexadecimal value for 0110 is 6. And 1010 is E. And 1000 is 8. Finally, we can say the hex equivalent of this binary number is 2CE.6E8. E this is the hex equivalent value for this binary number. Well, till now we have learned how to convert octal number to binary and binary to octal. Also, hexadecimal number to binary and binary to hexadecimal and we saw that these conversions are easy now we'll see how to convert from octal to hexadecimal or hexadecimal to octal we'll see this part let's see an example first suppose we want to convert this hexadecimal number to octal what is the corresponding octal value what we can do we'll convert this hexadecimal number to binary first if can be written as one 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 four bit binary numbers and we can write two as zero zero one zero point for c we can write 
the corresponding 4 bit binary of c is 1100 1100 and the corresponding 4 bit binary of 4 is 0100 once we have got the binary equivalent of this hexadecimal number now for conversion from binary to octal we know we need to take the segments having 3 bits so let's take segments with 3 bits in each segment this is the first 3 bit this is the second 3 bit we do not need to consider these two zeros because we do not have any other numerical number before that zero now again for the fractional part this is the first segment this is the second segment now what is the corresponding octal value for these numbers for 111 it's 7 for 101 it's 5 for 110 this is 6 for 001 this is 1 so we can say the octal equivalent of this hexadecimal number is 57.61 Let's see an, another example where we'll convert an octal number to hexadecimal number. Suppose we want to convert this number 762.013. This is in octal. What is the corresponding value in hexadecimal? So our first test is to convert this octal number to binary. In order to convert this octal number to binary, we need to take 3 bit binary equivalent for each digit 2 has 3 bit equivalent that is 0 1 0 6 has 3 bit equivalent number that is 1 1 0 and 7 will return us 1 1 1 for the fractional part it's 0 0 0 this is the 0 for 1 0 0 1 for 3 0 1 1 we need to put point here now this is the binary equivalent of this octal number now from this binary we want to convert to hexadecimal in order to convert this binary to hexadecimal we need to take segments having four bit in each segment so let's take this first four bit one two three four and the second four bit one two three four in order to make it 4, we need to add 3 zeros. So this is the third 4 bit. Again, for this case, this is the first 4 bit set of first 4 bit. And this is the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, second 4 bit. And this is the set of third 4 bit. We need to put 3 zeros. This is the set of third 4 bit. Now, what is the corresponding value in hexadecimal number for 0, 0, 1, 0, this will return us 2 for 1 1 1 1 this will return us f for 0, 0, 0, 1 this will return us 1 we have point here for 0, 0, 0, 0 this will return us 0 for 0, 1, 0, 1 this will return us 5 and for 1 triple 0 that will return us 8 so finally you can say the hex equivalent of this octal number is 1f2.058 this is the number in hexadecimal numbering system i hope the method is clear to all of you i am concluding number system conversion here next we will start a new topic thank you